Somebody else who knew something was wrong is former NYPD detective Derek Parker, who's part of the department's intelligence unit that tracked rappers and their links to crime. It's good to see you, detective. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Um, am I wrong to say that for a very long time, anybody with a brain knew that Puff Daddy wasn't just an upstanding citizen who sung good music and made a lot of money? Well, back then, uh, when I investigated Puffy and some of the incidents he was involved with, he was involved in certain things, but it was nothing like this. This is something that's been coming out. You of ever course. hear rumors? There were, there were always, like, uh, uh, talk of things at his parties and some of the things that he did, but I never saw that with him. All right. I watched an interview with you earlier, um, and you said that there were some very powerful lawyers um, that Puff Daddy had to, to protect him from the investigations you were launching. Was there also some very powerful celebrities, very powerful influencers in New York as well that were trying to protect him? He was, he was sort of too, too, good to, too good to take down? Well, no, not at that time. You know, Puffy had problems because he had a, the shooting at Club New York with uh, J-Lo, when J-Lo was with him. And then uh, he had the uh, shooting, he had the assault at uh, MTV Studios sure. with uh, Steve Stout, and he refused to press charges, so we couldn't really go forward with that case back then. But, you know, Puffy and I got to know one another because every time he got into trouble, I had to go to, uh, to see what was going on or to arrest him or to assist in arresting him. All right, you, you say that you had to assist in arresting him on and on and on. Uh, claims from some of the lawsuits. Um, ordered sex workers and prostitutes, order and distributed exiting cocaine, GHB, ketamine, marijuana, mushrooms. That's uh, documents from uh, Rodney Little Rod Jones um, against uh, one somebody who was involved uh, along with Puff, Puff Daddy. Um, that he had an assistant, uh, did his chief of staff in a sex trafficking probe, court documents in a lawsuit, compare her to Ghislaine Maxwell. Describe for us Puff Daddy's world and how he sort of expanded that world from just rap culture to white parties in the Hamptons that became the place to be for the New York Jet Set crowd. Well, back then when Puffy, uh, well, when I retired and stuff, Puffy had his brand. His brand was Bad Boy Records. And also he did a lot with, uh, you know, radio and TV. And he did a lot of parties in the Hamptons and in the city. He had some really good parties. Listen. He, you know, he ran his parties where people, if you didn't show up dressed, you wouldn't get in. So he never had those kind of problems. However, like I said, some of the events that he did brought out a lot of celebrities and a lot of people, but it also brought out a lot of police, too, because we had to watch and see who was coming and to make sure that there was no violence or no problems at some of these events that he threw. I, I, I hear you there. I, I, what I can't get over is how, uh, and you know this better than anybody from law enforcement, right? Um, you never get caught cheating on your wife the first time. You never get caught drunk driving the first time, right? Right. Um, if, if these allegations are true, they go back a long time. You listen to what Usher said. You listen to what Justin Bieber said. How are we to believe that none of these celebrities, that the law enforcement, that nobody had any idea of, if true, this really horrific behavior? Well, if these allegations were true back then, a lot of people weren't going to come forward and talk. See, in, 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 with the police department, we need cooperation. If you don't have cooperation or people that come forward and make complaints, then you don't really have a case. There's not really mm -hmm. far you can go. How you know, long do you think he ends up in handcuffs? I'm sorry? You think, how long till you think he ends up in handcuffs? How long did he end up in handcuffs? No, yeah, how long till it happens, do you think? Um, it's, oh, that's going to be probably soon. I would say the way the case is going right now, yes. I think they're going to have wow. an indictment soon. Well, and you think there's going to be a lot of people who are going to have to answer some uncomfortable questions about uh, what they saw, what they knew, and uh, if they did anything to cover it up. Uh, Detective, it's good to see you. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. All right. Thank you for having me. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.